Hey everybody, it's Greg from Park Journey here. Hope you're all doing well, having a good, uh, hope you all had a good weekend uh, as we're getting close to the Independence Day holiday next week. Uh, so I went to Universal uh, Hollywood on Saturday for a bit. Um, really a, a very busy day at the park, to be honest with you. Um, I had no intentions of actually going to the park that day. I just happened to be kind of driving around. Um, I went to the um, Valley Relics Museum, um, which we'll have a full update on later on this week. Really, really cool um, uh, history museum in uh, Van Nuys, all about the San Fernando Valley. Lots of really cool stuff um, to show you all, um, even some stuff from Busch Gardens Van Nuys, for those of you that may remember it. I barely do. I think there's a picture of me when I was like three um, on the monorail and the log flume um, back when they didn't care how old you were when you wrote stuff. Um, so I'll definitely be sharing that uh, later on this week. Looking forward to you all seeing that. Uh, a lot of really great feedback on some social media posts I did. Um, and then I went over to Universal for a bit. I was going to go and have some lunch. Didn't happen. Uh, everything was so packed. Um, I was going to use the mobile ordering uh, but nothing from Minions or the uh, Hollywood and Dine sounded good to me. So I uh, ended up getting some chicken strips at the uh, place in City Walk um, on my way out, which were really good, really hot. I got the medium and they were very hot. <laughs> so I can't imagine what the hot is. Anyway, uh, so there's lots of stuff going on at the park. Uh, the anime actor stage is completely gone, as you'll see here in a minute. Um, and then some uh, Halloween Horror Nights stuff, obviously. So we'll get right into it. Before I do, make sure you click below to subscribe to our channel. As always, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. All right, so heading into the park, you'll see here on uh, New York Street, there's some uh, work going on on a couple of the buildings here. This was the uh, the market here. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. Maybe they're uh, expanding this to a, a bigger store or something. I don't know. Uh, or it could just be some facade work. Uh, not sure. Um, but uh, some work going on. Their walls kind of extend all the way over even to where there's not uh, coverings on the building there. So um, as you can see here and walking through a whole bunch of balloons uh, and then you see that it basically just ends right here um, and then moving over towards the special effects stages and the former um, animal actor stage. Uh, you can see there uh, over the wall the uh, stage 57, which was the animal actor stage, is now completely gone. We'll, we'll kind of walk around the, the whole site here. Um, but the trees are still there, so hopefully that's a good sign that the trees are remaining. I didn't haven't seen any trimming or going on or anything going on uh, with those tra uh, trees. Trains. <laughs> trees. Uh, so we'll see. You know, Hopefully they will uh, remain here. Um, uh, you know, either for, you know, obviously shade, um, also a sound barrier for whatever it is that they're building here. Um, rumors are rampant um, going around. Uh, we're not going to share any of the supposed um, stuff that came out over the weekend because um, obviously we can't verify its accuracy. Um, and then on the back end here, you can see basically you can see all the way to Simpsons here um, from uh, from the side over. This is basically the uh, the view area that is behind uh, the Super Silly Funland um, and then the VIP uh places right here as well so i mean you can basically see right into the special effects stages right there i'm, I'm assuming at this point that that building is remaining uh will be used for whatever this new attraction is whether that's a station or you know whatever it is uh obviously again nothing has been officially announced as of this time um, and then as you see here the trees still there um, so i would imagine that some of these trees will probably not be here um, for whatever it is they're building, but you can see the you know all the rubble there for special effects stages, uh, or sorry, excuse me, animal actor stage, uh, completely gone. So that would be all of the bleachers, the stage itself, all of the uh, the facade that was uh, on the stage, um, you know, of the the uh, the canopy, um, everything. So and then we'll kind of scroll over to um, this area here where there's a lot more. Uh, trees and then kind of walking the other way around um, you can see again more uh, of the area it's a it's a decently sized area uh, so it'll be interesting to see kind of what uh, what comes in this area um, but obviously once we have confirmation from the park as to what this actually is you know we'll we'll have lots of uh, videos and construction updates and talk about it um, and obviously, you know, all the announcement stuff, when it is announced, we will, uh, you know, obviously have some, have some thoughts, uh, I'm sure, uh, once, once we, we actually know what is going on here. Um, and then, uh, just kind of rounding the corner there, the, uh, special effects show sign is still up. Uh, so as I said, they haven't really, uh, done too much to this building yet. 
So I would imagine that if not all of it is staying, that most of it is probably staying at this point. Um, and then moving uh, from uh, Wizarding World, uh, you can see again, uh, completely gone, the, spa, the um, animal actor stage. And then uh, just a quick look at uh, Halloween Horror Night stuff. Uh, this is the maze, excuse me, house that is up in the Parisian courtyard. Uh, it looks like a little bit more theming has been added. You can see like a tree right there. Um, so again, no, no idea what this what this is yet, no announcement. And then down here on the lower lot, um, this is the Last of Us house that was just announced. Was it just last week that it was announced or maybe the week before? Um, so you can see more facade work going on there. Um, and then, you know, that'll probably be the entrance uh, like it was last year for the Universal Monsters. And then we'll kind of pan back to the house that is uh, next to stage 16 there, kind of behind Transformers. Uh, no announcement as to what that is yet. We're pretty sure that this the, the house back there is going to be a return of Holidays in Hell, um, just based off of what... Um, what the facade looked like in uh, 2019. Um, so I'll, I'll throw up a picture here of, of that facade again, uh, just like we did with our last update. Um, but yeah, we're pretty sure that, that that's what this is. Um, be pretty surprised if that's if it's something else, um, which is fine with us. We absolutely, absolutely love that, that house um, and uh, definitely looking forward to it making a comeback uh, this year if that's, if that's what it is. All right, everybody, that's going to wrap it up. A real quick uh, Universal Studios Hollywood update. Uh, no no need to drag it on any more than that. So I hope you enjoyed that look um, at what's going on uh, at the park right now. Um, I'm not sure when we'll be back. Uh, obviously, it's going to get real busy here. I mean, it's been busy, but it's going to be even uh, busier here the next week or two with uh, the uh, holiday. Um, obviously, it's the summer um, season, so I'm sure at some point we'll, we'll get over there for a quick update. But um, no, no immediate plans um, as of right now. Um, so thanks for watching. I will also have another video coming up here uh, tomorrow. Um, we're going to uh, do what we did with the Disneyland Single Rider Lines. We're going to walk you through the Single Rider Lines at Universal Studios Hollywood. Just so you know that you can access them. I used them on, on Saturday. I'll kind of get into a little bit more of that in that video. Um, and I was able to do everything very, very quickly on a very busy day. Um, all right, everybody, take care, and we'll talk to you soon.